In this video, we will take a look at how we can add the side menu inside the tabs template. So let's start by creating a new project with the tabs template. So we can type Ionic Start, then the name of the app. I will be using my app dash tabs and then we have to provide the tabs template name. So that will be tabs and now we can press enter. Now this will go ahead and create our project directory and then it will install the dependencies. So it will take some time. So I will be back when it finishes. Now that project is created successfully. So we can change the directory to the newly created project. So that is my app tabs and then we can open the project inside the VS code, which is my code editor. So I am using the insiders build of the VS code. So I will type code insiders then dot. So this will open the project inside of VS code. Now on the left side, we can see the directory structure for our application. And for the first step, we will run this application. So we will open terminal. And then we can type ionic serve. Now this will build our application for the first time and then it will open it inside the browser. So this is how our application or the default application with the tab templates looks like. So we have three tabs tab one and tab two and tab three. So we will see how we can add a side menu on the left hand side of this application. So let's close the terminal window and then we can go to app and then app component dot HTML. And here we have to add our menu code. So we can actually comment this I router outlet and then I will use a snippet. I split pane. Okay. So this will actually add the code for the menu. So we don't need the menu ID here. And let's keep it overlay and then we will change the menu name to maybe my app and then for the content we will say uh, my menu content goes here okay and then similar to our router outlet we have added it before the split pane okay so now we can save that and for the reference, I am using Ionic for snippets plugin. So if we go to the extensions and then if I scroll down and this is the plugin I am using for VS code, Ionic for snippets y53. So now we can see we are using that Ionic split pane tag or the component. So what this will do is for the menu to appear on the mobile devices, we have to slide the menu from left to right. But on the all the other devices that are greater than the mobile devices, for example, tablet, desktop and others, it will show the menu in the split pane. So on the left side, we will see the menu and on the right side, we will see our content. And now we can save the application. And here in the browser, we can see on the left side, we have our menu. So we will add the menu items here and then on the right hand side we have this tab 1, tab 2 and tab 3 which is our the main content. So if I open the developer console, so here you can see currently menu doesn't appear. So if I slide from left to right, you can see our menu appears as a overlay. Alright, but now for the mobile devices we can add a hamburger menu at the top left for each and every page so that for mobile devices when we click on that hamburger menu so this will show the menu as an overlay the slide from left to right will also work but we want to add a button for the hamburger menu so what we can do is we have to go to each and every page and then we have to add the links or the button in the header so we will go to tab one first and inside of tab one page.html before the ion title tag or the component, we can add ion menu button. Okay, so this is also snippets by Ionic 4 snippets plugin. So we want to show the menu in the start. So that we will keep that start. 
and then we don't need menu id because we only have one menu so now we can save it and now currently we can see on the top left we have that hamburger menu and if we click there we will see our menu pops as an overlay but if we click on tab 2 there is no hamburger menu and similarly on tab 3 so we have to add the same code on all these pages so we can copy this code and then we can open tab 2 page.html and then we can paste it here and similarly we can open tab 3 page.html and then we can paste it here all right so now we can see we are on the tab 3 and then the hamburger menu appears here and on the tab 2 the same effect so this is how we can add the side menu inside of the tabs template